It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for Season 10 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the trailer that they released for the third half of Season 10 of The Walking Dead, the bonus episodes better known as 10C. Now, I did do my breakdown of this teaser a few days ago, but there were some things that I noticed after watching the trailer a second time or things that just caught my eyes a little differently than the first time I watched it. So I do want to go over those things. So this is the things you may have missed and Easter eggs for the trailer of 10C of The Walking Dead. Stick around, we'll be right back to break it all down. Alright, before we jump into this, if you haven't watched my breakdown of this trailer, you might want to watch that first because I talk about most of the stuff in the trailer in that breakdown. Also, as always, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to join our community if you enjoy the content by the end and make sure to share and smash the like button and press the bell on the bottom right to be notified about uploads on the channel. So with all of that out of the way, let's dive right into it. So the first thing we're gonna look at is how the trailer starts. The trailer starts with showing shots of the survivors being captured by a group named Commonwealth. Now for non-comic readers, yes, the group that we saw at the end of season 10 episode 16 are from the comics. They're from a group, a large community called Commonwealth and the community is structured in such a way where they actually have a functioning military. And their soldiers are exactly who you saw at the end of 1016. Now at the beginning of the trailer for these bonus episodes, we actually have, like I said, a few shots of the Commonwealth soldiers surrounding and capturing Eugene, Princess, Yumiko, and King Ezekiel. But we do also have a dialogue, a voiceover from someone asking the group about who they are. Questions like, what's your name? Where do you come from? Where were you when the fall happened? And all of that. Now, the only person who would be asking questions like that is someone from the Commonwealth called Lance Hornsby. For non-comic readers, Lance is the bookkeeper for the community. So he's the one that pretty much does the vetting of people who are either trying to join or they encounter. So if there's anyone who would be asking those types of questions, it would be Lance. In fact, in the comics, Lance asks those exact same questions in different circumstances, but those same questions. And when I say different circumstances, it's just because the group is captured, taken to Commonwealth, and that's where the interrogation happens. As far as I remember, but in the TV version, it seems like they're actually gonna have Lance show up with the other soldiers right away and ask those questions right away, which is definitely a remix of the comics to an extent. I didn't think that they would bring stories from the comics that I thought they would wanna save to tell in season 11. But obviously that's not the case and they're actually bringing that to the bonus episode. So that's interesting. But in short, that was Lance Hornsby asking the survivors those questions at the beginning of the trailer, or it was most likely him. The next thing I wanna mention is this shot has gotten a lot of people speculating about whether Princess was with the Commonwealth soldiers and whether she was just trying to lure in the group. And for those of you wondering why I say that or why people speculate that, it's because everyone else here has their hands tied but it doesn't look like Princess has her hands tied. Or it's interesting that she is with one Commonwealth soldier away from the others. Now, I don't think that Princess is actually working with the Commonwealth. I actually have a very simple explanation for this. I think that either Princess tried to escape or she was just taken away or something. And that's why she's not with the group. She's gonna try to escape based on the table read, so I just think that that's what this is. If they actually reveal that that's the case, then I guess okay, but there's nothing in this shot that verifies that. The next thing I wanna talk about is this shot right here of Aaron with a gun to his head. Now, when I first saw the trailer and did my reaction, and even when I did my breakdown, I was under the impression that Aaron was holding a gun to his own head, but, after watching a few more times and kind of hearing everyone else's perspective on it, I kind of understand 
what might be happening here and it's definitely not what I thought. It's not Aaron pointing a gun to his own head, although some parts of what I said in my breakdown still stand. Obviously this shot of Aaron is from the same scene where we see Robert Patrick's character, whose name is Maze on the show, pointing a gun at someone and screaming 3, 2, 1. So counting down. Now if you take a look at that shot with Robert Patrick, with May's character, you can actually see he's holding a gun. I didn't initially see the gun. And that's why my mind went to Aaron pointing a gun to himself or something. But it makes more sense that it is in fact Maze that's pointing the gun at Aaron. Now why would he do that? That remains to be seen, but obviously he's threatening them. Father Gabriel is almost certainly going to be in that scene as well. Is he threatening both Gabriel and Aaron? Who knows? Does he have a gun pointed at both of them? Who knows? But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to follow up and correct myself because I originally thought Aaron was pointing a gun to himself, but it doesn't appear that that's the case. The next shot we're going to look at is this shot that for comic readers screams, here's Negan. So obviously it's a shot of someone with heavy duty gloves putting barbed wires around a baseball bat. And obviously this is the birth of Lucille. Now for comic readers, obviously in the Here's Negan standalone comic book, we start the story with Negan putting barbed wires around Lucille. And if we put those two side by side, they are identical. Negan in the comics in Here's Negan is even wearing the heavy duty gloves like the one we see in the trailer. So that's most definitely Negan building Lucille for the very first time. Now obviously the final episode of the bonus episodes 1022 or season 10 episode 22 is called Here's Negan and this is coming from the Here's Negan backstory episode which is season 10 episode 22. Next thing to point out is this shot of Lucille shooting a walker who is trying to get to Negan. Now when I did the breakdown the first time I mentioned that I thought that this was going to be a drill or that this was a drill meaning that Lucille and Negan were practicing killing walkers or something to that effect and I still kind of stand by that but one thing that I didn't realize right away or I didn't see right away was that Lucille was actually carrying around an IV stand and that's obviously related to Lucille's backstory from the Here's Negan comic book. For non-comic readers, in the comics, Negan's wife Lucille actually died very, very early on. She had cancer and died of cancer. In the TV version, it looks like Lucille is going to live for much longer. She's going to live possibly years into the apocalypse, which is very, very different than the comic version. But in this particular shot, we see Lucille carrying an IV stand which I'm assuming has the chemotherapy medicine in it so she's still healing from her cancer but unlike the comics where she spent her last few days in a hospital it seems like in the TV version she's going to possibly come home with Negan and live her last few days at home and that's when things are gonna go down in terms of the apocalypse and the fall of society. So that's interesting. Now going back to what I said earlier about this possibly being a drill, I still think it is a drill. Like I think that Negan was just trying to practice killing walkers and then this being very early on, he wasn't good at it and Lucille had to come and shoot the walker and save Negan. I could be wrong, but that's just the vibe I'm getting from this particular scene. The next scene I want to talk about are these two scenes. One is the bigger picture, which is one of a new character who looks to be a biker of some sort walking towards someone with a bag on their head. And there's another person behind walking towards them. Now in another shot, we actually have Negan in a similar area in like a bar or a restaurant or something and then he's pointing his gun at someone's head. Now this is obviously a flashback because it's a much younger Negan. Now there are people who speculate that that's actually Negan with a bag on his head but I don't think so. I think that if we take a look at the first shot which is the bigger picture the one guy in the background walking forward is Negan the one in the back. So I don't think that Negan is the one with the bag on his head. However I do think 
that this is the birth of the saviors. Like I think that Negan got mixed up with a group of biker gang after Lucille died. And I think that that group was running things very differently and Negan wasn't down with that. And I do think that in this particular shot, this guy walking towards the guy with the bag on his head was the former leader of the saviors. And I think that the shot afterwards takes place right after. And I think Negan, seeing what this guy does and what he's capable of, or what his intentions are, takes out his gun and shoots the other guy in the head, who I think is the leader of the saviors when it first started. That's what leads to Negan taking control over the saviors. And this, I think, is like I said, the birth of the saviors as far as we're concerned. But again, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's where this is going. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to mention that I didn't really mention in the original breakdown. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button. And also make sure to press the bell to be notified when we upload on the channel. And last but not least, share your thoughts and opinions about everything we talked about, both in this Easter egg and things you may have missed video and the breakdown video. So share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.